everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you so much for joining us it has been a hot minute but i'm back and i've got a beautiful christmas design to show you so i've already gone in and prepped the nails and i've also applied these tips i got these off amazon and they're brilliant so i will leave a link in the description box below for you um i did go in on the pinky with a really thin clear base i use cjp crystal glass and now I'm going to go in with a full nail of crushed ice from CJP. This is a beautiful, um, it's almost like bluey purple. It's just absolutely stunning with really fine glitter in it. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply that to the whole entire nail. Trying to ensure that I'm keeping my side walls nice and neat and also my free edge just to save on filing time. The brush that I'm using is of course my CJP Liz Guild brush, it's my favourite brush, I do need to get a new one, I'm pretty sure I've said that in every video and I still haven't got one. So we're going first and place a bead at the centre of the nail and bring that up over the free edge and then I'll work down at the cuticle making sure that that is nice and flush, trying not to get any on the cuticle of course. But I hope you're all well, I feel like I've not been on here in forever, it's been crazy. I now have an eight week old daughter called Delilah, which I just can't believe. One, that she's here, and two, that she is eight weeks. She's currently asleep on me now. I'm hoping she's gonna stay asleep so that I can do the voiceover for this whole video, but we shall see. So once I've applied that, I am gonna just keep going in until I've got the coverage that I want. Then I'm gonna let that one set and move on to the ring finger before going back and encapsulating. So on this finger, I decided to do a marble nail with a bit of glitter and some snowflakes. So again, I'm just applying a really thin base um, at the nail bed area and just bringing that up over the tip. This is just to stop any discoloration on the natural nail from the coloured acrylics. Then I'm going ahead and I'm picking up a small bead of coconut milk again from CJP. And just applying that at the cuticle area. It's just so that we can make sure we've got a nice flush cuticle. Then I'm going to pick up a bead of crushed ice and also a bead of coconut milk and just use the tip of my brush to sort of marble those into one another. And then I'm going to repeat this down the rest of the nail as well. And again, ensuring that I'm keeping those side walls as neat as possible. Once I've done my marble, I'm then going to go in and just apply some Snowy Owl and also some Flake It Special Touch from Glitter Arty Nails. And I'm just applying those to the wet um, acrylic. Then I'm picking up these beautiful snowflakes. These are the Pearly Ice Snowflakes. Um, they're 8mm snowflakes, again, from Glitter Arty Nails. I will link everything below and any discount codes. And I'm just, again, applying those to the wet acrylic. And just pushing those into the acrylic and then i'm just going to apply a tiny tiny bit of glitter just around those to jazz them up a little bit more and then i will let this set again before going in and encapsulating whilst that one's setting i'm going to do an ombre on the middle nail so first thing I do is apply a small bead of clear at the cuticle area and just bring that up over the nail. Then I'm going to take a bead of the crushed ice from CJP and I'm going to apply that at the centre of the nail. Bring that up over the free edge of the nail and also feather that down slightly onto that nail bed. Just so we've got a nice um, fade when we come to put our nail bed colour on. So bringing that up over that nail and again I will keep going in with this until I've got the coverage that I want. And I will let that one set a little bit before I go in and apply my cover pink just because we don't want it to merge together and create like a marble effect or like just a mess. So whilst that's set in, I'm going to move on to the index finger. 
So on this one, we're going to be doing a French nail. So I'm going to take my cover pink colour. Um, I couldn't tell you what colour this is because I did mix this myself ages and ages and ages ago. Um, so yeah, sorry, I can't tell you what colour this one is. I can't even tell you what I used because I am in full blown baby brain mode and I can't even remember what day it was yesterday or today or anything. So fortunately, I can't tell you what colour it is. Um, but I place my, I pick up a bead, drain the back of the bead slightly and then place that um, on the nail bed area and then use the belly of my brush to pat that up and tip on my brush just to create that smile line and I'll just keep working with it until I'm happy. Don't want it to be perfect because I will go in with a nail file so it doesn't need to be a perfect smile line. Then I'm going to take my cuticle bead and I'm going to place that down and push that right up against those cuticles ensuring I'm not touching them and then I'm going to bring that over and again I'm going to keep building this one up until I'm happy with the coverage and happy with the thickness as well and then I will let this set before doing anything else with it so I shall let you watch this bit. So whilst that one sets, I will go back and do my ombre. So again, I'm just taking the same cover pink, applying my first bead where the crushed ice meets the natural nail, placing that down, and then I'm just going to bring that up over the rest of the nail. I'm not too worried about the um, fade on this nail because I will be doing um, a bit of nail art, so I'm not too fussed, but I still want it to look nice. Then I'm going to take my second bead, place that at the cuticle area, pat that down, pressing it right up against those cuticles, making sure I'm not touching, of course, and then again, bring that over the rest of the nail. And then I will be encapsulating this nail as well, so I'm not too fussed about my apex or anything like that. And then I just take a small amount of the crushed ice at the free edge and just bring that down over the rest of the nail. And then on the thumb, oh my God, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. But in the end, we went with a full um, crushed ice nail um, with a little bit of glitter. I will show you that in a minute. But first, I'm going to go in and encapsulate the rest of the nails, starting with the pinky. Taking a CJP crystal glass. I'm really sorry if you can hear Delilah and her loud breathing. <laughs> She's currently flat out on me, but she's so loud when she's asleep. She proper grunts. It's so cute. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm getting disrupted and sidetracked by her. Um, I will encapsulate the pinky and then I just trimmed off some of that snowflake on the tip of the nail just because I wanted to try and be neat. This nail does not look neat once it's encapsulated, but once you fard, it's absolutely fine. So I'm going in and again, I'm just going to encapsulate this nail as well, making sure that I'm fully encapsulating the snowflakes so that when I come to file, I don't file them out. So I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys watch this.
So I'm going to move on to the thumb now. As I said, we're going to do a full coverage of the crushed ice. But first I go in with my clear, then I'm going to apply crushed ice over the entire nail, starting with the tip of the nail and then apply my cuticle bead, making sure that that is nice and neat and nice and flush. It was really weird doing a voiceover. I've forgotten how to do it. I don't even know if, like, I don't know. Am I doing it right? <laughs> I don't know. But I just wanted to get some stuff up for you guys. So I do have a couple more videos um, ready to upload. So I'm going to try and do, like, two, maybe three a week. Um, Yeah. And then I realised I was fully out of shot. So all I did is I went in with the same glitters we've been using on the other nails and also the same snowflakes. I just cut this bit out because it was just pointless, fully out of shot. Um, and then I'm going to go on to the index finger and I'm just filing around using a 100 grit nail file, filing that smile line so that when we come up to put our white acrylic on and we file that nail, we've got a nice crisp smile line. We all love a crispy smile line. Then I'm going to go in and get rid of the dust and I'm going to apply coconut milk, just a really thin layer of coconut milk to the tip of the nail, making sure I'm pushing that right up against that smile line, down the side walls and the wings of the nail. And then I'm just gonna bring that over the tip. And I'm gonna be going in and just applying the Snowy Owl and also the Special Touch Glitter, just randomly on this nail. And then I will go in with the snowflakes as well, so I do apply one full snowflake and then I just wanted sort of a little bit of snowflake on the corner of the nail. So I just trimmed off um, a bit of the snowflake, you'll see in a second. Trimmed it just so that I didn't have a lot of overhang. And then again, I'm just gonna apply those, pushing them down into that wet acrylic. Then I will let those set before encapsulating them just so I don't move any of the snowflakes or any of the glitter. So whilst that one's setting, I'm going to go in and encapsulate the thumb. Again, just going in with my crystal glass from CJP. Apply my first bead at the centre of the nail and patting that up over the free edge of the nail using the belly of my brush. Again, just trying to be as neat as possible. And then I'm going to go in with my cuticle bead. It's really important when you've got glitter and snowflakes and anything embedded that you make sure it's fully encapsulated because... I've done it so many times where I've not put enough clear acrylic on. I've filed the nail and whatever I've encapsulated has just, yeah, it's just disappeared with the file. So make sure you do have enough acrylic on the nail. Too much is better than not enough because you can just keep filing. Um. So yeah, I'm just going to encapsulate this. Then I'm going to encapsulate the index finger and then we're going to move on to the filing. So once they were all fully set, I'm just going to go in with my e-file and I'm just taking a standing band and just going over the entire nail and also just tidying up those side walls and free edge. Um, this is literally just to sort of take a bit of the bulk off for me and get right down into that cuticle area. And then once I have done this on all of the nails, I will then go in with my 100 to 180 grit nail file to refine the shape and also again go around that cuticle area and the surface of the nail then i will go in and buff the nail using a buffing block i'm using these little mini buffing blocks that i got off amazon um 
just so that each of my client can have their own and then I'll just throw it away. They're really, really cheap. And I think I got 50 of them for literally like a few pounds. So they're really, really cheap. Um, and then I will get rid of the dust. Everything I'm using, I will link below for you, including the extractor fan and also the e-file. This is my favourite now because once this is filed, you see that beautiful smile line come through. I just love it. So I'm going to let you guys just watch the filing and then I'm going to jump back on when we come to my favourite part, which is the top coat. So before top coating, I'm going to go in and do a little snowflake on the middle finger. So I am using Madame Glam's painting gel in white. And I'm also using a um, cuticle drill bit that I don't use um, just to do these dots because I didn't have a dotting tool that was small enough. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do like um, a cross with four dots on each end. And then in the middle of each of those I'm going to go in and do another four dots, a diagonal, and create like a star shape. Then I'm going to take my Madame Glam, I think it's the ultra fine liner brush that I use, and start at the centre of the snowflake, and I'm going to drag my brush through that painting gel. So you'll see what I mean here. I find it really, really hard to explain. So I'm just dragging the brush through, and it creating more of a, I don't know, more of a snowflake, I don't know, I don't know. Um, and then I'm just going to go back in with that same tool that I used and just 
add a few more dots on to that. Then I'm going to add a couple of dots around it to make like a snowy effect. Then I'm going to cure this under my LED lamp for one full minute, making sure that it is fully, fully cured. Then we're going to go in and top coat. Now I'm going to go in with my Nail Lounge Collection's Ultimate Gloss Top Coat. Top coat all of the nails, bringing out all that juicy shininess. Curing that for one minute under LED. If you're using a UV lamp, make sure you cure for two minutes. Then once they are fully cured, I'm going to let that um, cool down, let the hand cool down for a minute. Then I'm going to go in with the CJP's Fairy Bomb, I think it's called Cuticle Oil. It is the most amazing smelling cuticle oil I've ever smelled in my life. And then that is it, guys. That is the whole set done. I hope you enjoyed this set. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. I feel so happy to be back. Again, thank you all so much for being so patient and just waiting for me to come back out of my newborn bubble. Um, I've got a few more videos coming your way before Christmas. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.